Your body's made up mostly of water. Your brain needs water to function. So your brain can't feel pain, but if it's if if you dehydrate it, um, you your brain will you'll fatigue, you'll feel tired, you'll feel fatigued. So it is a cause of tiredness and fatigue, dehydration. Um, your discs in the spine need water, they need fluid. So the more water you have, the more toxins you're flushing out of the body, uh, the better, and the more energy, the more focus you'll have. Um, I know when you wanted to talk about fizzy drinks and decafs and caffeine yeah. as well. Yeah, so the thing is, we ask this question all the time, don't we? So like, oh, okay, so um, I have to drink water. Can I, can I just drink, maybe just drink more coffee or more tea or can I just drink more fizzy drinks? And we say, drink pure water. And the reason for that is uh, fizzy drinks, a lot of them uh, contain fake sugars, which are not good for you, particularly aspartamine. Um, has been linked to all sorts of nasties in the body, causes problems in the body. So we do say stick away from the fizzy drinks. Also, um, interesting when okay. the aspartame, uh, the body converts aspartame to formaldehyde mm. and they use formaldehyde to preserve their bodies. So do we want to be drinking that? No. In fact, it's quite an interesting experiment. If you were to put a chicken bone in a glass of uh, uh, cola um, and left it, left it for a few days, the bone would actually disintegrate, and that's what you're putting in your body. So you don't be want, don't really want to be drinking fizzy drinks. That bone would become real floppy, wouldn't mm. it? Even just leaving it overnight, you pull it out, it's really floppy. That's what fizzy drinks do to bone. So we don't want that in your body at all. Um, also, we get asked the question, okay, so I'm not allowed to drink uh, coffee, but can I drink decaffeinated coffee, or can I drink decaffeinated tea? And um, we also say, so like, uh, drink water, drink water, uh, decaf, the way that they process and decaf, the way that they um, make decaffeinated drinks, uh, the process is quite chemically uh, heavy and those chemicals are sometimes not always washed out before you start to have ingest them in your body. So if you're going to drink a decaffeinated coffee in particular and teas, there is a process called Swiss water filtered. So if you look for Swiss water filtered on the packaging, that is not bad at all. But really we want to be drinking uh, Water, water is what you want to be drinking. And caffeine, really interestingly, um, if you drink a lot of caffeine, it can irritate the lining of the stomach. The nerve supply for the stomach comes from the mid part of the back. So if there's anything that's locked in the mid part of the back, it can affect the way the stomach functions. But also the stomach can refer back and cause problems or pains in the mid back. With caffeine irritating the stomach lining, it can affect the, the mid back. So and caffeine's dehydrating, so the more caffeine you drink, the more water you need to drink. Yeah. So it's really important to get to do rehydrate. In fact, there's a whole section of this, uh, myself and Alicia, because we wrote a, a book called Yakety Yak, let's talk back some more. Uh, there's a whole section of, of about hydration in there. So if you want to learn more about hydration, then uh, feel free to pick up a, a copy of our, of our book. But uh, so keep hydrated. You should be drinking a good, so like two litres a day, a good six to eight big glasses water a day uh, throughout the day please don't drink two liters blah, 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 straight up all at once uh, your kidneys will not like you for that so it's a nice gentle uh, absorption of water throughout the day you will notice that perhaps you may go to the toilet a little bit more the first few days that you do this until your body gets used to absorbing the water but uh, stick with it stick with it because as Alicia said the health benefits come from drinking plenty of water and our bodies are made predominantly of water so keep keeping hydrated is really important for overall health as well and that is, see you next time. Or that water, see you later, bye.